To build a better picture of this killer contender, I'm heading to Idaho, where these weird weapons keep turning up. The site of this phosphate mine is now more than 600 miles from the coast. But once, it was at the bottom of the Sea of Phosphoria, a shallow, virtually landlocked sea, which was home to a population of Helicoprion. And last year, Dr. Leif Tapanila from Idaho State University solved the century-old mystery of how these lethal blade spirals were used by analyzing a unique and now priceless specimen. So that is it. That is the fossil. Looking at this, the, the first thing I think you think of is, is it looks like a saw blade. But this fossil isn't unique for what's on the surface, but for what lies beneath. Dr. Tapanila used CT x-rays to scan the fossil and revealed, for the very first time, the cartilage jaws that held the bizarre tooth world. The next step was to bring these jaws to life with 3D printing. And this is the result. This is an exact one-to-one -one replication of what's in the rock to scale. Life-size. Life-size, you're holding a helicoprion that no one ever has touched. The only thing that's missing from this now is the tooth whirl. This animal is meant to eat meat. But not bone. Very little wear has been found on any teeth, suggesting these tooth whirls were designed to eat boneless prey, like squid or sharks. This whirl belonged to a buzzsaw killer the size of a great white, but they got a lot bigger than that. We have spirals that go up over two and a half feet in diameter, which means the skull is now pushing us up to four feet and gives us an animal that reaches well past 20, 25, maybe even up to 30 feet for the largest helicoprions. With this knowledge, I'm able to imagine such a beast in action. Perhaps on a moonlit night, when ancient squid called Bellumnites gather near the seabed to mate. Any fish armed with a weapon like this has to rank very highly on the list of the deadliest river monsters ever.